Hi. I decided I wanted to start sharing a little bit more about how intuitive messages get downloaded, how I receive them. Um, I'm super clairvoyant, always have been. I get visuals. I'm also claircognizant, which is knowing, like a, just a deep knowing, right? Like, and it's fast. I mean, I'm a lot of them. I also hear things, um, making connections, getting the signs, getting the messages. So this is so interesting. In the last two days, this is what's come through. So I'll tell you kind of how I've connected the dots because I want people to understand that we all get these messages, but not everyone is paying attention, right? Cause you're paying attention to trash TV or effing gossip or like a bunch of bullshit that your soul doesn't need. Like quit consuming crap. I'll drop that. <laughs> That's just a little tough love because then you can actually hear the messages that your soul, that your multi-dimensional self, your highest self in the quantum field and all timelines and dimensions is trying to get to you. Okay. So I wanted to share a really, clear example it was 111 when I was saying that. Woo! Thank you for that confirmation. Okay, so this is important to share. So that's great. Um, where did it even come through the first time? I don't even know. The word or the term motorcycle raven. Ravens are very specific in a guide that is showing up for me that I didn't even know. Apparently there's a goddess and her name is the Morrigan. I have since deep dived into information about the Morrigan and yes, she has been coming at me. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what got me to move to Prescott, which was six years ago and I didn't even know it. So I was thinking this was a pretty new guide coming into my awareness. No, I'm pretty sure she is what helped me get to Prescott because Prescott is known for ravens, blackbirds, crows, which is a huge symbol for the Morrigan. Okay. So she has come way, way, way more clearly into my awareness in the last couple of weeks. There's a creator on TikTok. She's doing these videos where the Morgan is like coming at her and giving her a lot of like messages and information and downloads. And so that's what triggered it for me, for her to come into my awareness and like now look at more information about her. So I'm very, very clear. Um, other big signs that she is around is very much, um, she's a goddess of death and rebirth. So I'm clearly going through that cycle. One, as a perimenopausal woman. Two, I let go of full-time employment and my job earlier, um, August, September, stepping fully into being a business owner and entrepreneur and that whole journey. Um, so I'm in this midlife journey. I'm in this transition between being a person with a career versus a business owner and a leader. So stepping into and embodying leadership from myself first, embodying it and modeling it, like being it, not just talking about it, which is a lot of what we see out there is people just talking it and they're not actually being it, right? So Ravens, blackbirds, crows have been coming through hot. And I don't, oh God, I wish I could remember where this motorcycle raven term even came from. And then I'm listening to a video from a friend today who lives here in Prescott, which is again, ravens, crows, blackbirds. And she mentioned a motorcycle being behind her. And I was like, there's a motorcycle again. And you know, we live in the raven town. So that's twice now in two days that this motorcycle raven has come through. So I just kind of sat with it, right? And I got a pen out and I'm like, okay, what, what else does this mean? Spirit, and speed, right? Ravens are very highly spiritual. Native American cultures, ravens, blackbirds, crows are huge, huge messengers, right? Um, and speed, motorcycle is speed, right? Wisdom and acceleration, right? So I just kind of kept, like, I just wrote it on a sticky note. I didn't even get my notebook out yet. I was just like, what do these things, like, how do they keep expanding, right? So spirit and speed, wisdom and acceleration, flight, flying, right? And then I also wrote wind beneath my wings. And then a motorcycle is like a ride, a trip, a journey, right? So, and this is what I've been feeling coming is that something's about to pop off for me. And another piece just sort of presented itself. There's like a wave of information and clarification has been coming through about that. I'm just 
at this tipping point and it's about to flip and it's going to look like it happened like that. And actually this has been my life's work. Like the work that I'm stepping into is my life's work, right? The, um, the Oracle card deck that I created, right? I was saying to someone, Oh, this took four years to birth. And she was like, actually, this is your life's work. KK, like this is your life's work. And she was exactly right. Thank you, Jen, for reminding me of that. And so whatever shift is about like, I can feel like the gears, right? All the pieces are there and they're just going to go whoops and, and boom, it's just going to pop. And so I'm sharing this also as like a time stamp, a date stamp of like, yes, received. I, I get it. And so the spirit and speed, wow, right? Like wisdom and acceleration is happening quickly. This also has to do with the energy on the planet right now. There's an acceleration, a quickening happening on the planet with our ancestral memories. So there's this ancient future thing that is happening and Drop me a comment if you feel like that's happening for you, right? Where there's these like thoughts, a lot of people, you know, would consider themselves star seeds or light workers or whatnot. It doesn't matter if you consider yourself that or not. We are receiving information about who and what we really are as human beings on planet earth. And some of that information has been hidden from us um, or programmed out of us with like, again, back to full circle, what I was saying at the beginning, all of this trash, trash music, trash TV, trash content, trash books, you know, lots and lots of layers. That's a whole different conversation. Meanwhile, you have so much more to access within your soul, within your brain, within your quantum field than we've been told. We all do, right? And that is the leadership that I'm stepping into is how, one, how do I even step forward into this? Two, it's not a technique or a method. This is like a deep soul transformation, right? That I want to help people step into and be a guide because I'm stepping through this fire myself over and over and over and over and over again. So like there's layers being stripped away so that the core essence of what my soul actually is about can step forward. And at the same time, an integration, an integration of like everything that I've ever learned in this time timeline and this lifetime and all the timelines. That's all what's coming online for all of us now. We have access to that. Isn't that exciting? It's mind-blowing and so exciting. We literally are new humans building a new earth. So my energy and attention and focus is on what we're creating and what we're stepping into and how consciousness is expanding on the planet. Not this old BS that's burning down right before our eyes. So yeah, it looks chaotic. Back to the Morrigan. She is here to remind me that something's got to die. Something's got to be burned off. Something's got to be let go of in order for us to be reborn as this new thing. And so we are being reborn as a new human, as new humans on a new earth in a new way. All of our old trash systems have to go. And so putting band-aids on bullet wounds and thinking we're going to fix some of this old ish, we're not, we're not fixing it. So like shifting our perception, shifting our vision, shifting our light on what it is we're trying to give birth to and create is really where it's at. Like that's where the speed and acceleration is going to come from, not the old stuff. Bless it, thank it for its lessons, let it go and move forward into the expansion and, and this like wide openness that is here for us that has never been here for us before. There's a new energy, there is new um, realms to play in, and it's an integration of everything we've ever known in every lifetime and dimension. That's really powerful stuff. Anyway, so that's what's coming through. This is getting long. I'm going to go. Love you. Bye.